beach and we would go to the park and I would, you know, say, let's go to this amusement park or let's just for the moment do this. And I would surprise her because that was just my heart. I did everything that I could to try and keep it peaceful and civilized while he was on the phone, you know, continuing to stir that pot. Egg her on and keep her, keep that hostility. It's just sad because he would put me first and would degrade her in front of me. What woman wouldn't be upset, you know, if a man is beating you in front of another woman and making you hug this woman while you're crying and, you know, making you say sorry to this woman while you're crying and while you're down or taking everything that you just purchased and giving it to another woman or giving you out while me and Rob enjoy ourselves while you're stuck on a bus or a sprinter or whatever. That alone is enough to just keep a woman angry at you, you know, whether it's your doing or not. And so I understood the anger and the frustration in her because it had nothing to do with her and it was all him. And eventually she will realize that herself as a well. woman. I love to learn. So watching Rob, I would learn and I would see what he would do to other women and I would see what he was using that to me. And even though I would not say anything, you know, I would notice it. Me and Rob had plans to have this marvelous life with kids and a family and marriage and just settling down. And I just realized that I was giving everything, all of me, and he was giving nothing at all whatsoever. And that was just enough for me to realize that this isn't the type of relationship that I want. Because if I have to give everything, then how miserable will I be with kids? Then I will really be tied to this man. Or how miserable would I be with a ring on my finger? A beautiful ring but a terrible home. For a while, yes, I have been leaving the Trump, and, you know, Nick will be chasing me, and any person will be trying to chase me. They were hunting me down, trying to find me. And, you know, becoming a woman, things that I agreed to at 17, I was starting to realize that I would never agree with now that I am a grown woman. And that was my turn. When you're vulnerable, when someone is being nice to you, you feel like that's love. But, you know, if they continue to tap on that weakness and take advantage of that weakness that is no longer love. I feel like that's what he did. So I would definitely want to be an advocate for women. By human nature, we just love the thought of a companion. It's just the way that God created us. Not every companion is going to be the right one for you. You know, your life will still go on without that person in your life, whether it be a man companion or a woman companion. If that person is not treating you right, or if you're giving more than they are, and it's not an equal balance, then that's not a relationship you should be in, period.